Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to be revealing to you one of magic's greatest secrets. So in May 1958, a man named Norman Gilbreth discovered a principle that would change card magic forever. This revolutionary principle is known as the Gilbreth Principle, and it allows magicians to create seemingly impossible effects from a completely shuffled deck of cards. So just picture this for me. The spectator takes the deck and shuffles them up all fairly. They then spread out the cards onto the table, and without even looking, the magician is able to correctly determine what colour each card is just by waving their hands over them. And believe me, this effect is so good, it actually fools magicians, and you can learn it in less than five minutes. Now, if that sounds too good to be true, then let me show you a performance, and then I'll teach you how this is done. So the magician has a deck of cards, and he shows both the front and the back of the cards, and that they're all different, and they're in no particular order. However, it doesn't really matter, because he wants the cards to be shuffled. Instead of mixing up the cards himself, the magician does something that no magician ever does. He hands the cards to the spectator and tells them to shuffle the cards up themselves. So the spectator cuts the cards wherever they want, so let's just say they cut the cards about halfway, and then they shuffle the two piles together. Now as you can see here, each and every card is genuinely being mixed up, and the magician has no control over what card is where. At this point, the magician then collects the cards back up and again just very fairly shows that they're all in a completely mixed up order and he'll give them one final cut roughly halfway in the middle of the deck so he doesn't know what's on the top or on the bottom of the deck either. Now to take this a step further, the magician then tells the spectator to pick up the pack of shuffled cards and to deal them into two separate piles and they can deal as many cards as they want and again the magician has no control over where they stop dealing the shuffled cards. So they pick up the cards and they just start dealing two piles, as many cards as they want and let's just say they stay stop there. The magician then asks the spectator to take a, card, a packet for themselves and a packet for the magician. It really doesn't matter which one. And then they're going to play a game. So all the spectator has to do is just guess what colour card they have in their hand. So for example, the spectator might say this is a red card and it's actually a black card, so they got that wrong. Uh, this is a red card and this is a black card as well. Red card, yes it is a red card this time. Black card, a black card, they got it right. Red card. Nope, another black card, red card, We've got a red card, and let's just say black card. And it is a black card. So that was about 50-50, it's what you would expect. But then the magician says, watch this. If I wave my hand over my cards, I'll be able to tell exactly what colour each of the cards that you shuffled is in this pile. The magician picks up the cards and he says the first card is a, a red card and it is a red card. The next card is also a red card and it is a red card. The third card is, ah, now this is a black card and it is a black card. Then it goes red, red, black and the final card is a red card and he gets that right as well. So this is an amazing magic trick using a very simple principle that will fool your spectators. Very quickly, if you want to learn some tricks that are just too good to reveal on YouTube, then consider getting my course, Card Magic Pro. It's the most popular card magic course in the world with over 10,000 students, and it will teach you everything you need to know from beginner to advanced in card magic. So check out the link in the description if this sounds cool. So this is an amazing effect that relies on an old principle known as the Gilbreth principle. So this principle revolutionized our understanding of magic because it proves that even with a riffle shuffle done by the spectator, which seems so fair, it's actually very easy to manipulate and control the cards as I'm about to show you now. So for this, you just need a normal deck of cards and then you're ready to begin. So this is an amazing magic trick with a devilishly simple secret. So to begin, you want to alternate the entire deck red-black like this. And this is obviously before you start the trick. Once you've done that, you then want to bring out the cards and just display to the spectator that you've got a completely normal deck of cards in your hand. And what I'm doing here is instead of going through the cards one by one, where it can be seen that they alternate, 
I'm just pushing off clumps of cards to the side and it really just looks like you've got a random, a random deck in your hands. But it doesn't even really matter because you're then going to ask the spectator to shuffle the cards themselves. However, you're going to ask them to do this in a very particular way. The first thing you want to do is remember the colour of the bottom card. So in this case, it's black. And that's very important. Yours might be red, but in this case, it's a black card. And I then half the cards and give them to the spectator. So I'm just going to cut the cards in half. However, it's very important that the card that I cut to on this packet has to be red. Okay, so if it's black and it's like that, this won't work because it's the same colour as this card. So the card that you cut to has to be the opposite colour of the card on the bottom of the deck. So it's very easy to do, you just have the cards in your hand, you see it's a black card, and you ask the spectator to shuffle them for you. So you just dribble through the cards and you say, let's just cut the cards roughly in half, and can you riffle shuffle those cards together? Notice how the two bottom cards are different colours. Now if the spectator can't riffle shuffle the cards, that's totally fine. You can literally just spread them down like this and ask them to push the cards together. So you can do it like this, and this makes it look even more random and weird. And they can do it like that, or they can riffle shuffle the cards together, but they can only shuffle them like that together once, and this effect will then still work. At this point, the cards have genuinely been mixed, which is why this is such a convincing and powerful magic trick. And you can turn the cards over and go through them very fairly and show that they're all in a random order. The second move comes in here. As you're going through the cards, what you're looking for are two color cards that are together. So there's two red cards here. There's probably two black cards somewhere. There's two more red cards there, two black cards there. And find any one of these pairs and just cut the deck there and then complete the cut. Okay, so that's a move disguised as a cut. So it's very, very simple. And now the deck is set up and ready to go. Believe it or not, from this deck, you're now going to be able to tell what colour each of these cards are. And I'll explain how that works in just a second. You then hand the cards to the spectator and you just say, look, to take this one step further, you've mixed up the cards and shuffled them and cut them. I want you to just deal the cards out into two piles alternating. It's very important that they don't deal the cards down like this into one pile, then one pile. You want them to deal them down like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. And the best way is just mimic this or start dealing the cards out yourself. And then they're going to just copy on this. And they can stop whenever they want. So let's just say they stop here. You get rid of the rest of the cards and they give you a packet and they take a packet for themselves. So here's the amazing part. They've just dealt down those two piles. But what you'll notice is if you turn both of these piles over, they're opposites. So you see how it's all red cards here, one black, one red, two black. If I go here, all of these cards here are all going to be black, then one red, one black, and two red. So you can see that these cards are opposites. So if, I, if these cards were face up on the table, I could then tell you what color card is going to be in these piles here. So this is essentially how the trick works. We turn the cards over and I'd ask the spectator what colour card is this? And this is just a game. So let's just say they say uh, this is a red card. Obviously it's a 50-50 chance and in this case it is a red card. Now because this is a red card you know that this is a black card here. So that's how simple this effect is. But instead of put turning this card face up, what I do is place it face down onto the table. I then ask them what color card this is, and they say it's black, it's actually red. I put this in line with the other red card. What color is this? This is black. Now in order to remember that this is a different color card from these two, instead of putting it in line with them, I'm just going to lower it down slightly. And this will become uh, apparent why later on. So if it's a different color card, if it's black, you put it lower. If it's red, you put it higher. What color is this? They can guess whatever they want. They say red, um, they got it right. It's red, so it goes higher. What color is this? Black, we put it lower. Black, we put it lower. Black, we put it lower. And black, we put it lower. And what this means now is I know these are red cards, this is a black card, this is a red card, and these are black cards. So when it comes to my pile, all I've got to do is look at this, so I know this is a red card because it's further forward, and then just say the opposite colour. So I know that this is a black card. Black, forward, so it's black. This is backwards, so I know this is a black card, which means this has to be a red card. So red, black, red, 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 red. 
So you can see how simple this magic trick is and just how powerful it is as well using a very simple principle.